no stand mixer, no kneading, no special equipment required. These bread rolls are so soft and fluffy, you won't believe how easy they are to make. So firstly, into a bowl, add in one tablespoon of dried yeast, followed up by two teaspoons of caster sugar or superfine sugar. Then add in a half a cup of warm water and using a fork, mix everything together really well. Now leave the mixture for five minutes until it gets thick and frothy. For the dry mix, into a large bowl, I'm sifting in four cups of double O flour. Now double O flour is extra milled. So it's gonna give you that best result, but normal flour is fine too. Sifting it will also make sure your bread rolls are nice and fluffy. Now add in a quarter of a cup of super fine or caster sugar and give everything a good mix around. When everything is mixed, make a well in the center for when we pour in the wet ingredients, it's going to make it much easier to stir the dough and it prevents over mixing. In a jug, I've melted three and a half tablespoons with butter in one cup of milk. I melt the butter with the milk because it gives it the same temperature. Then add in two beaten eggs along with the yeast mixture. Then gently use a spatula or spoon to mix the wet and dry ingredients together. Again, make sure you don't over mix it. You just want it to come together in a sticky dough. Towards the end, it's best to use clean hands to bring everything together. Now leave the bowl and place a damp cloth over the top and leave it in a warm place for one and a half to two hours to rise and it will almost triple in volume. When the time is up, take away the towel and punch it right in the middle. Then gently mix again with your hands for 20 seconds. Then take it out of the bowl and lightly flour the kitchen surface with extra flour. Simply shape it into a rectangle or square and cut the dough into 12 equal portions. This gives me the perfect size dinner roll, but you can make them smaller if you wanted to, if you were making sliders. Break apart the dough and shape it into a tight ball, getting the tops as smooth as you can. And then leave them again covered with a cloth for another 45 minutes, where they will again increase in volume. Then simply place them in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes or until they are golden brown on the top. Now as soon as they come out, I lightly brush the tops with melted butter, which forms a wonderful crust and gives off a really nice shine to the bread. Then carefully lift out the bread rolls from the lined baking tin and place on a wire rack to cool slightly. And then simply tear them apart and you'll see just how soft and fluffy they are. And when you tear one open, it's just gorgeous. If you love this recipe, please hit that like button and subscribe for more recipes. And as always, thanks so much for watching.